Nationally, the numbers continue to climb. More than 76 million people in America now fully vaccinated against COVID-19. But nothing is 100%. Thousands of them have been infected with COVID-19 in what the CDC refers to as breakthrough cases. 7% requiring hospitalization. So let's get some context with our nine health expert, Dr. Pyle Coley. So what are we learning? Should we be scared about this? Should we be worried that people with full vaccinations are getting sick? Or was this part of the plan all along? This was expected or anticipated? Entirely expected, Tom. This is not a vaccine failure. This is not signs that the vaccine is not working, but we know that no vaccine, as you said, is 100% effective. It's, it's an analogy like wearing your seatbelt. We know that it substantially reduces your chance of dying in a car accident, but again, it's not foolproof. And so we did expect some of these breakthrough cases and they're occurring at the rate at which we expected. We do the math on it. What, what is the risk as far as these breakthrough cases? What are we learning about about those cases, uh, if anything, specifically? Yeah, so the, the rate at which they're occurring is still a little bit up in the air because the studies are giving different estimates. So if you look at some studies done of healthcare workers um, from UT Southwestern, they're predicting about 0.05%. So very low, despite being in healthcare workers that maybe have a higher risk of exposure. If you look at UCSD and UCLA, it was slightly higher, about 1.2%. In the real world, what we're seeing is about 5,800 cases reported out of 76 million vaccinated given, which comes to about 0.008%. But I want to point out a few caveats because I think that these numbers are underestimated. In the CDC study that looked at real world data, they estimated a breakthrough rate of about 10%, meaning the vaccine is 90% effective. So about 10% of people may get infection. And a lot of those people, Tom, may be asymptomatic. And that may be part of the problem. Since you've been vaccinated, you're not having symptoms. How would you even know that you're getting infected? So I think some of these studies may have underestimated the rate of breakthrough. The other point that I want to make is, is what you said, which is that 7% of people, despite being fully vaccinated, ended up in the hospital. Now, remember, in the clinical trials, there was 100% efficacy at keeping people out of the hospital. But we're not seeing that in the real world. 7% ended up in the hospital and 74 people died. So I want this to be a caution. Even when you're fully vaccinated, keep your guard up because you could still potentially get very sick. And I guess we'll have to study these breakthrough cases in other ways, like what we can learn about them going forward. Do they fall in any categories? Are they at a greater risk? Uh, how is it that they're getting sick still, still remains to be seen? It really does, and there's a few possible plausible mechanisms. So one is that you just didn't generate enough antibodies. You had a weak response, and that's how you got infected. The second is that you made antibodies, but they went away. Either they waned too quickly, or it's been a long period of time since you got your vaccine, and that's possible. The third is that the viral dose that you got was too high and it overwhelmed your immune response. So you just got exposed to such a high amount of virus that it overwhelmed your immune system. But what we're learning very interestingly is that there appears to be a slight predisposition for women. So 65% of those breakthrough cases occurring in women, you know, 29% of them are asymptomatic breakthrough cases, which is a large majority. So we have to learn a lot about who the person is that has the breakthrough case and what type of variant they got when they had the breakthrough case. That would be the biggest focus moving forward, I think. Well, there's a chance to learn a lot because we have a gigantic sample size from the United States and around the world to uh, one day be able to crunch all these numbers and learn more about it. But uh, we're learning as we go. Dr. Pal Coley, thanks for visiting with us today.